Hello, hello everyone. Nice to have you guys here again. Just waiting for everyone on the chat room to access. Just post the link there. So just waiting for a few seconds. Until we wait, I just I hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, my grandma arrived on Saturday, so the family, the whole family, came here to see her, and we spent the whole day together on Saturday. Yesterday we we just stayed at home with her and some friends came over so Hello Donia um, Nice hi Bulland. Um So yeah, we, we just The whole family here and friends and we watch a, a movie. I think I posted a photo on Twitter so it was pretty good the weekend I had. I hope everyone had a good weekend too. Hello everybody, good evening. Bulland, I will talk about SP in, in a second. Yeah, I think everyone's here. Anyway, um just to keep in mind that if you if you arrive late or you want to listen again or later on or stuff like that the if you click on the same link you clicked to access this periscope live session um just click on the same link and we we'll, you will be able to watch again okay guys um so um let's see the market so euro dollar here guys um pretty let's say well we nearly touched the 50 percent fib um let's look the daily here which i think is more clear than the four hour to be honest with you so the daily looks in pretty bearish here okay it's nothing bullish there um yet i don't think we're gonna stop exactly where we are maybe we can see a new low tomorrow rsi as well you know declining uh but we'll put some pressure on the market if we break the trend line on RSI on the daily okay if that breaks then I think the market will have a very good push to the low uh, to the downside but you know looking this daily chart here right now uh, we only have two hours um, to go but you know since just looking at the market now it looks pretty bearish so um, euro here looks pretty pretty um, bearish especially if we look the weekend um, the weekly sorry the weekly chart um, um, it looks bearish okay because we had this big candle here on the weekly okay many people start buying here I think the euro were going to bounce but then look the close on the weekly guys inside of the triangle again pretty red there now this week you know we are red at the moment if we close this week on red okay where we are now or below or lower i think we can continue going lower and maybe retest this 111 area again okay 114 i don't think so i hope not if it go if if goes back to 114 i sell bullet to be honest with you if i go to 14 um i sell um but i you know um, it has a great it has a chance because it's not even that far okay we are 113 113 25 so yeah but anyway guys it looks bearish here if we go to the pound cable um you know we are in this area here looks like a topping guys it looks like it's trying to make a top here uh but you know since we stay below this high here which is about 155.08 i think we still bearish in this pair okay i think we have to we have to know that if we go to the aussie boring there we just made a top in this trend line that we spoke a few many times and uh, it looks like a top there so uh, looks like topping there guys, but Aussie pff, not so clear to be honest with you But looks more bearish here than ever looks bo looks bearish here to be honest with you But I'm not trading Aussie if uh, we look here. We we um, Stopped in this trend line here connect to this low to this other low here and uh, We just stopped there close to the 50% we are just above few pips above the 38 
2% FIP from this high to the low. Okay, so we are there right now. Let's see if we can close and how we react the market. Because if we break this low from Friday, which is 67.84, I think we can continue going lower. And then the next step, the next level to watch is about 167.00. Okay, so keep an eye on that. Uh, let's look dollar yen. I'm just looking the majors, guys, just to update you guys. Um, yeah, uh, dollar yen finding resistance here on the 38 percent fib, which is very close to the trend line here from this triangle. Um, so it's going to be very interesting how the yen is going to react here. Okay, if goes higher than one nine uh, 119.75 pretty dangerous to sell okay if we are if we go above that um, but since we are here looks pretty bearish let's look the four hour here yeah went back to the range guys so pretty dangerous market to trade right now it can easily come all the way up here so let's see let's see how the market but very confusing right the daily looks the daily looks at say top resistance but if we look the four hour we are in the back to the inside of the range, so I don't know. Someone in the chat room talk, talk, spoke about, uh, well, asked me about gold, and someone just now in here just talked about gold. But gold, guys, at support right now, okay? Um, it's not time to sell. Uh, first fib here to the extension okay and previous high here as well so everything in where we are right now but if we break this low here that we made today saying well as far as we know which is 1169 if we break that i think then we can easily come here and probably that's a false breakout especially if we look um the weekly maybe All right but don't forget we broke this trend line here very you know long term trend line you can see from this high here to this low here so pretty dangerous but looking short term if we go below that low that we had that we have here from today then i think we can turn bearish at least for the short term okay now let's look to the markets which i made the um, weekend videos about oh yeah let's talk about dollar cat yes david thanks Dollar card guys exploding to the upside. Um, I told you guys long term. Look where we are jumping from. Looking, look where we jumped from. Right from this zone that I told you guys many times. The resistance now is a demand zone, and from there we have this arrow here, this red arrow for a few days is where I made a, I think on Friday, from Friday we made a live session and I put the arrow there and still there, look at that, look at what reaction is getting guys. I think and I still think this long term, the long term play here in this market is a long, it is a long and uh, I will keep my, my bias here. Of course we made a bigger correction than I was expecting to, um, but it, it, it looks in, it's looking bearish it looks in bullish sorry it's looking bullish for me okay we can you know it's gonna be very interesting to see how the weekly here is gonna close if we close where we are now or higher that's pretty bullish okay guys pretty bullish you know came a breakout came down retest the breakout zone and ready for the next jump maybe okay so keep an eye there but I think that any pullbacks I think is a great opportunity as to, to buy looking short term here for our um, let me delete this let me delete this we never this is a great example of why uh, we have to wait for a breakout of the neckline I always tell you guys the head and shoulders is just when we break the neckline I just put it here because I was you know waiting to see if the market would break never broke that up and came all the way down so false um head and shoulders there now let's look the short term here let me put fit from you know this last high to the low here and we just started 78 percent fair guys okay very very good average to make a top here very near term top we can easily come all the way back here to maybe uh, 29.50 maybe and ready for the next jump okay so keep an eye on that
Okay, so look look for pullbacks to join. Don't buy now, but you know, wait for a pullback maybe to 25 2950 or you know, if it doesn't get if we see that it's not going through uh 2985, which is this 618% fib here, then I think the cat can easily continue jumping. And talking about cats, let's look oil. Yeah, oil is looking pretty bearish, guys. Okay, we we were in this you know had this zone here drawn out for many you know very long time i see and after we broke this channel we came retest this you know this place here and made another jump came all the way down came you know below again retest came all the way back retest again and now looking bearish let's look the daily daily looks even bearish guys look at that you know pretty bearish can you know Let's see if we can break this trend line here on our side. If that breaks, guys, then the pressure is on to go lower. I'm not telling you here. I'm not. Oil is one market that's very confusing for me. Um, it's it's not one of the best markets um, to trade, to be honest with you. But um, I know that if we break that RSI trend line, there, it's can you know the pressure to the downside is going to be very strong, very strong. Um, I'm not saying it's going to make new lows. I'm just saying that. It can easily you know come at least to 4340 okay where these lows here made the bottom okay now let's look the market which I, will, uh, I made a weekend video and blog and whatever I has been speaking I have been speaking about this market for for you know for so long and we are getting to those uh, those levels guys uh, we are watching isn't it um, weekly here we still didn't you know touch this channel here which is a possibility for us to go all the way up here and maybe retest the channel around what 2068 so keep that level in mind if we look the daily daily same thing we still it didn't even reach the zone here of resistance okay um that's the first zone to watch and maybe higher okay maybe 20 50, uh, 60 or even the 70 percent fib here and uh, for our for our we're still in the triangle okay guys we just you know made a new high today of course and then um you know it's holding this this high here what we are saying here you can see the line here it's holding okay which is about what about 2021 um you can make another high tomorrow guys okay i think it's a great opportunity there so keep an eye on 2040 2048 uh, or even maybe 2060 okay let me see something here 2060 if we go higher on the high here of the channel if we thought it's gonna be around 2065 so yeah this zone here 2060 2065 is the zone to keep an eye i'm gonna draw this because i want you guys to remember when we spoke about 2060 2065 Yes, about this zone here. Great. Okay, so that's the level to watch. I think the zone to watch tomorrow, 2060, 2065. Okay, if we get there, I am the first one to sell, to be honest with you. And it's going to be, uh, this is the S&P 500. S&P 500. And... Um, yeah, this trade, guys, is long-term trade, okay? Um, I don't really mind sell here, and if we go higher, sell more, okay? So just saying to you guys, it's a very long-term trade, um, which I'm planning to hold for a few weeks if it's, if it's needed, okay? Let's look at the DAX, one of my favorite markets to trade. Um, let's start looking at the weekly DAX, weekly here. It's not a very good question to ask, Eddie, to be honest with you, how much I make. I think that's a very personal question to ask. Um, but anyway, um, one thing to keep in mind, and some people already send me emails, um, you know, um, about trendline. And I'm going to change because I have to think about the worst case scenario here. And the worst case scenario is this one here, right? So changing trend line here, you can, you can edit, of course. Um, anyway, um, so the DAX here bounced from trend line, and uh, it's holding itself here, 
okay sorry itself here if we look the daily here we are very close to a fib i told you guys to watch this 38 2 percent fib and um, 1038 okay um the same levels i spoke about in the weekend video is still valid okay we still didn't even reach that so yeah we, we are in this range mode here on the decks very very confusing but if we look the four hour here we today nearly touched i think by two points we didn't we didn't touch this trend line here which is connecting to the, from this let me push here so from this high to this high here but you can see how many you know one two three four four times we touched the trend line before went higher so yeah guys um pretty good dax here it's not making new high of course we made a new high today but not jumping so strong so the levels to watch tomorrow is going to still be this um 1.272 which is percent fib which is 1021 and if it goes higher keep an eye on 1032 okay let me add a fib from this high here to this low yeah 78 percent fib comes at um 1026 so keep an eye on that as well okay so i add just a fib from this high to the low and i have another fib here from this high okay from this high here to the low and uh, we have one here which we didn't touch by two points today 1021 another and 78 percent fib it's at 10 26 two. and then trend line here guys which is from this low to this low here okay can you see it there okay pretty good um what else guys in the chat room do you have any market you want me to to look at or anyone here on periscope any markets you want me to to have an eye to, to analyze I don't think there is any other interesting one. But yeah, indices is the market which I'm, you know, having a very good um yeah, where were they? I had a look on QE but I can look for you again, no worries. Yeah, Oxilixo. I don't know how to say your username in the chat room. Uh, I looked the odds as well, but I can look again. So, Kiwi here, Rudy. Um, yeah, Rudy. We we made a top a very good place. Okay, on the on weekly basis. Okay, at this trend line here. So it looks a bit topping and another thing to keep an eye is this RSI we are breaking trend line there can you see it okay so it looks we are breaking right now so so it looks pretty you know bearish to be honest with you so top a trend line and add the fifth and breaking trend line RSI so yeah I think you have a nice setup there if you want to yeah you can you know change that trade here puts your risk about what well, i think 65 55 65 50 maybe and sell you know first take profit about 67 30 maybe yeah i think that's a quite good short for you um uh, oxiliso asked me for look the aussie which i already did but i can look again no problem at all There we go, Aussie, same thing as Kiwi, but something to keep in mind here is that maybe, maybe, just saying, okay, maybe, which I think we are, to be honest with you, we are in a triangle here, which can get very boring, if really is, let's look the weekly here, weekly, nothing interesting, yeah, Yeah, look, we we making look we're trying to make a top at trend line 
on RSI resistance so pretty good there reaction on the steering line um, daily looks the same thing here I think we can go lower but guys so many good better markets to trade there to be honest with you euro even euro is better than this one yeah so we made the high uh, 1.272 fib that's pretty good let me try and fit from the low to this high yeah i think a good level to watch on aussie to the downside is about 70 to 10. i think that's the next level to watch someone asked me what i where I'm gonna tell you again the levels on the decks which I will be watching. I, I I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we're gonna make a new high tomorrow. I I really think so. So levels to watch: ten, twenty-one, three. That's the first one. If we go higher, then look for ten twenty-six, and then if we continue going higher. Looks look for ten thirty-three. Okay, so ten twenty-one, ten twenty-six. 10 33 that's um the levels of, i will be looking on the decks tomorrow if we go higher which i really think we are to be honest with you but you know there we go we can let's look the down the duck the down was i think it's inside of the channel already isn't it yeah we are exactly to the trend line there channel resistance on the monthly we can see they're retesting that channel uh which is pretty good look this trend line here on the weekly chart very long term trend on on on, on us 30 which is the down zone so we s didn't touch the trend line yet guys if we do tomorrow pretty i think it's a nice short to the down on the down there daily here you know we have so many we have so many things in exactly into one point of the down. I think it's even more clear than the the, the DAX, to be honest with you guys. So keep an eye on down Jones. If you can trade this, I think it's even better than the DAX. Look, look on. Yes, um, you know, pretty good. Uh, we have many levels to work out. Don't don't put everything. Don't put your whole account in just one place. I think that's one of the basic rules on on trading markets, any markets, not just forex or indices or whatever. So down, guys. You know, daily here we have the trend line, we have channel resistance, so many things in here. So pretty close. If we go back to the weekly, um, you know, trend line there on the weekly, you can see there from the low lows lows, and and there we are. You know, we can make a new high tomorrow and retest this trend line and then start reversing and for our same thing right we can retest this 1.7 uh, 1.272 fib which we did already we touched um yesterday uh friday actually sorry and uh, we have this 78 percent fib here as well which we made from this high to the low okay so many things guys very close to achieve this area here is very strong for the down to make a resistance to make a top here very good i'm not saying we're gonna make a top there i just think that the, the risk here can be so good um just to you guys to have an idea we can you know retest on the second fib level here you can put your risk here and your take profit can be i don't know maybe here all right look at that look look the re risk reward there 8.1 okay so you're risking one to make eight that that is a <laughs> you don't find a better risk reward than this okay guys 8.1 i really think so of course you can close before even if you close here even if you close let me show you even if you close um even if you close here even if you close here okay a little bit higher than this low here you you still have a risk reward recommended which is 3.08 which is you're risking one to make three okay that's the the ratio you want to have 
in your risk rewards okay guys so even if you close here of course my long it's a long term position you know i want to close it here at least or here whatever but even if you decide to close it here you know still an amazing trading plan there okay um of course maybe a little bit higher stop loss you know then you can put your you take profit here okay still you know they're nearly four so amazing to see anyway guys i have to go um if you still not on the chat room it's free until next month the 12 um join us over 140 members there we keep chatting all day long about trades many guys trading many good traders there many good traders and to join just send me an email okay tiago let me find here if i find uh, oh yeah i have the poster so yeah if you want to join just send me an email there and uh and i add you on the chat room straight away okay very good chat room enjoy then you can cancel anytime and after 12 um, the fruit show is ending and I hope you like and stay stay with us. Okay guys. Have a good day Thanks, Rudy. Rudy, are you in the chat room? You are, isn't it? I don't remember. It's so many people that sometimes I forget <laughs> I think Rudy is. I bet he is Tassi, are you on the chat room as well? I hope you guys are. You guys are awesome. Yes, really. Oh, yeah, I just remember you are. Nice one. You're welcome, Gabriel. Not, yeah, excellent. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I, I keep you guys updated. And sorry for today, guys. Just want you, you guys to know that every Monday I'm pretty busy. I have university the whole day from 9 to 6. Lessons all day long. So it's quite impossible for me to keep there active with you guys. But, you know, as you as you saw today, you know, I jump in and out when I can and, and talk to you guys. But the rest of the week, I'm, I'm pretty... I keep, you know, uh, the rest of the week, I, I have enough time to be here with you guys. Thanks, David. <laughs> no, already, when I'm not in university, I'm, I'm home trading. I have to make money to get the girls ready. <laughs> and, put, and pay for your drinks. I want you some beers. <laughs> Rooney is a very funny guy on the channel has been following me for for quite a long time really nice guy no i'm not married i'm very young tassi what <laughs> i have to enjoy life yes guys just single traders on the chat room please <laughs> just kidding everyone's welcome women's men single married any 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 type of trader are welcome you can be new trader, you can be experienced, any type of trader is welcome and you're gonna enjoy. I do make money, Tassi. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, guys. Anyway, um, that is for today and we keep talking on the channel, guys. Okay, have a nice day and I see you guys there.